Hey, hey, hey. Cooking with your girl, Judy. Today, we're having meatloaf. Not just your everyday average meatloaf. But I'm talking about a meatloaf with a kick and a bang. Pow, pow. Okay. We're starting out with two family size packs of ground beef. Two. Bell peppers and onions. Three eggs. Mild cheddar cheese. Old fashioned oatmeal or just any kind of oatmeal. It don't matter. It can be the food world kind, the uh, Piggly Wiggly kind, uh, the uh, Walmart brand. But are we using oatmeal? Accent for the seasoning. Black pepper. Laurie seasoning salt. Sea salt. Garlic salt. Montreal steak seasoning. And you're going to need a bag of brown sugar. And uh, I guess that's about it. Let me see. Oh, I'm going to go away and cut up my bell pepper and onion. And uh, probably prep a little something. Get a little something prepped. And uh, we'll be right back. Oh, and I forgot to mention sriracha ketchup. That's the bang. And mustard. You're going to need to get some mustard. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay. We back. I've sort of measured out everything that I'm going to need to go in the meatloaf. Uh, I'm going to start out with uh, a cup of bell peppers. A cup of bell peppers. A cup of uh, onion. Okay. I said three eggs. One. Three. Three eggs. Okay. And uh, let's go with the Montreal steak seasoning. I'm going to start out with like uh, one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of Montreal steak seasoning. Larry seasoning salt. About a a tablespoon. Garlic salt. About a tablespoon. Accent seasoning. About a teaspoon. Well, two teaspoons. Sea salt, one teaspoon. Black pepper, about a tablespoon. And sriracha ketchup. About 
three, about three tablespoons. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Worcestershire sauce. Okay, found it. Worcestershire sauce. About a tablespoon. Now I'm gonna try to mix it up without anything coming out. I gotta jerk it. And I don't want to mix it up too, too much. Get a tight meat, a tough meat. You just really want to mix the eggs up in it. I'm going to fill it to see what else it needs. Do it need anything else? I put one more egg in there. Put a little bit more sriracha ketchup in there. About two tablespoons. Okay. Feels about right now. I'm gonna get this meatloaf out of this pan. Yes, that's good. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot about the oatmeal. I started with two cups of oatmeal. But I'm gonna go ahead and do one cup. Like I forgot about that oatmeal. That's the glue to hold it to hold it together.
And look, I'm forgetting something else. I'm forgetting all about the mild cheddar cheese. It's been a long time since I made me low. I'm leaving out all the goodies. Okay. Okay, now, I think I got everything in there. All right. Got the oatmeal, the cheddar cheese, sriracha sauce, accent seasoning, salt, sea salt, Worcestershire sauce, garlic salt, seasoning salt and the Montreal steak season okay reminds me of when I was cooking meatloaf at our Coosa Valley Medical Center and uh, Sylvia was teaching me how to do meatloaf Sylvia taught me how to do meatloaf Okay. Okay, now let me get something to pour it in. only to mold the meatloaf put it all in one pan what's wrong you want juice? Go get it. Okay. Yeah, these are memories coming back. Coosa Valley Medical Center, Old Hickory, Hickory Street Cafe. Sylvia taught me this. Hey, give him something. I don't care what you give him. Just give him something. Okay. I bet you thought I forgot about this here. <laughs> Turn it over. Ah, there we go. 
perfect meatloaf. Make sure you smooth it all over, no cracks in it. And we're gonna stick it in the oven, 350. Well, I'm gonna lower it. I'm gonna take it down to about 325. 325, and let my meatloaf cook. I don't know how many hours or how long I'm gonna cook until done. There's your meatloaf. How that look, Sibby? Hello. It's been about an hour since we put the meatloaf in the oven. And uh, I mixed up about, well, I'm going to mix up about a cup of sriracha ketchup, a cup of regular ketchup, two tablespoons of mustard, and about a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to mix this up. Put the sauce on top of the meatloaf. Taking the meatloaf out. Just a minute, I'll show it to you. Let me give it a little taste. Oh, that's good. Oh, spicy and good. I'm going to put it on the meatloaf. There's my meatloaf. Let me get a spoon. Oh, that's good. Got a sweet and tangy taste to it. Just put it all over that top of that meatloaf. Let me get a spatula. Well, let me pull it out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to push it back in there and let it cook for another about five minutes. Okay, y'all. Here it is. This meatloaf. This perfectly good meatloaf. And I got a little secret to tell y'all. It's about 15 after 12. Oh, by the way, I let this sit in there with the sauce on top for about 10 minutes. Yeah, but uh, it's about 10 after 12, and uh, I'm the only somebody up. Me and this crippled meatloaf. This really crippled meatloaf, and I'm about to catch it. Let me see if I can slide a piece out of here. Everybody sleep in this house all the way to the third power. Oh, I'm going to get my sleeve in there. Oh, 
Oh yeah. There's your meatloaf. With that sriracha ketchup and that cheese on it, in it. And I'm about to taste it. Skylar and Colin, they sleep. Oh, look at that, so juicy. Alea and Denia. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Good and spicy. Tarver, she didn't sleep. Oh, wow. This is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that's good. Y'all stay humble. Be blessed. And good night. Y'all ain't got to go home. But y'all got to get up out of here. Bye for now.